Sean in Corpses Christi, Texas. I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper this question like the crowds there. What do you think of Dustin Rhodes being announced as Cody's opponent for the AEW show next month? I kid Corpses Christi. Great people there. Cody and Dustin, yes, that was a, a big AEW announcement uh, yesterday on their Road to Double or Nothing YouTube series. They dropped the news in a about a five-minute, five- or six-minute video. They had an on-location shoot at his home with Dustin Rhodes, who is either about to become a free agent or is officially now a free agent. His contract is about over with WWE, and he has been announced as Cody's opponent. At Double or Nothing, May 25th in Las Vegas, it's going to be brother versus brother for the first time since the one match they had in WWE back at the Fastlane pay-per-view in 2015. And back on the 28th of last month, so almost a month ago now, about three weeks, Pro Wrestling Sheet posted a news item that Goldust was soon going to become a free agent. And they said that multiple sources told them that Goldust's WWE contract recently expired. He's currently waiting for his uh, non-compete portion of the agreement to run out. Now, that that's a little confusing. Because when a contract expires, there shouldn't be a non-compete. Like, if they let you go early or you try to quit or anything like that, they can keep you from going somewhere for up to 90 days. I My understanding is that doesn't extend to contracts that just expire. Uh, whatever the case is, they posted news that he was about to be gone from WWE and was going to become a free agent. And Dustin went on Twitter and, of course, he ranted and raved and talked about smart marks. This is false, totally false. And as we see now, it turned out to, in fact, be true that he was about done. He was finishing up with WWE. And here we find out that he is going to be at the AEW show. I thought the video with Dustin was well done. Uh, They have a story, clearly, that they're telling. He went into how he and his brother, they are 16 years apart. They are two very different people. He feels that there's some bad blood. There's a rift there that he's not quite sure where it comes from with his brother. And they're building up this sibling feud for this match at Double or Nothing. Now, the one match they had four years ago at that Fastlane show... You know, for years, the two of them wanted to work a match together or a program together. I think they wanted to have a WrestleMania match. And it's it's a little puzzling why they did that match at Fastlane and didn't save it for WrestleMania that year. But they did it at Fastlane, and they laid an egg. The crowd didn't care. Goldust won with a crucifix pin that looked... I don't know if it was... I don't remember if it was botched or the referee was confused. It didn't look good. It was a flat finish, if not if not a botched one. It was a flat finish. It was a disappointment. It was a big disappointment to a lot of fans. That was Gold Dust versus Stardust. Now it's four years later. It's not Gold Dust against Stardust. It's Dustin against Cody. No gimmicks. No WWE agents telling him what to do. You got ten minutes. Here's the finish. Go on out there. Now it's Cody's show, and it's one of the feature matches on this show. I won't call it the main event, but it's one of the big matches now that they're going to be promoting between now and May 25th. Cody is a bigger name to this audience than he was four years ago. You don't have to like the guy, but you'd be a fool if you didn't think that his name and profile were a lot bigger and a lot higher now amongst you know, a lot of the hardcore wrestling fans than it was four years ago when he was doing the Stardust gimmick. And they're going to have all the time they need to tell the story that they want to tell. That's the big difference between that match four years ago and this match coming up now. And you look at the cards so far. This this, uh, double or nothing lineup. You've got Kenny Omega against Chris Jericho. That clearly is the main event. You've got the Young Bucks, who are now the AAA Tag Team Champions, facing off against Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix, the Lucha Brothers, which should be a hell of a match. You've got Cody and Dustin and the story they're going to tell these next few weeks going into that match. And that YouTube series that they do is very well done. They, they actually do a really good job, a better job in some cases than WWE does, of telling stories through their YouTube series. So those are the three big matches. And you also have Pac, uh, the former Neville, taking on uh, Adam Hangman Page. 
So those are the core matches, and I got to tell you, on paper, that's that's a pretty strong card. You know, you, you've if you have a knowledge of of these guys and are fans of their work and fans of these people, you look at the matches they put together so far, and I think it's a pretty solid card. Not counting whatever they have planned on the undercard, they're going to have another battle royal. I'm sure you know they'll have a surprise or two up their sleeves. On paper, it's a pretty damn solid card that they have here right now, but. I'm sure in their minds, these this is the match that they're going to go out there and have that they probably would have preferred to have four years ago in WWE. Because that match was a big disappointment. And I think that they probably have a lot to prove. And uh, they're going to go out there. Goldust now is 50 years old. And he's been hurt. He had some injuries. WWE never really brought him back to, to TV. But up until recently, he was still out there hanging with the young guys. You know, he may he may be very uh, vocal on social media and say some things that are, I, I feel are very insulting to the fans. I'm not a fan of some of the things he said as far as telling people their opinion doesn't matter, basically. And calling everybody marks and smart marks and, and debunking news that turns out, of course, to be real. I don't expect him to have anything to say about that. But I would come on the podcast quite often and sing the praises of Goldust when he would go out there and he would be moving around at 47, 48 years old like he was at least 10 years younger. So unless he's really slowed down in the last year or two and he's going to go out there and feel probably like he has something to prove, if he's able to physically go out there and do what he was doing even late into his WWE run, I think the two of them could have a hell of a match.